guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sharon, the Millennial Teacher, where I document my journey as a new teacher and share tips and tricks with you to help you on your teaching journey. In today's video, I will be talking all about my student teaching experience at WGU. Demonstration teaching is the final in-classroom element that you must complete in order for WGU to recommend you for licensure or certification after graduation. This experience allows students to get real hands-on experience in a classroom, ensuring that you are prepared for the rigor of being an educator. During your demonstration teaching, you will work with a cohort seminar facilitated by an experienced WGU educator. You'll have a clinical supervisor who will observe you as you work closely with your classroom host teacher. The clinical supervisor and your host teacher will provide regular detailed feedback about your performance and proficiency. I live in California and was required to do 12 weeks of student teaching. And just a side note, WGU calls student teaching demonstration teaching. So I will be using those terms interchangeably. So let's talk about the first few weeks of student teaching. The first few weeks of student teaching are mainly for observation purposes only. During this time, you kind of sit in the back of the classroom and your role is mainly just to observe. You take notes, get to know the students' names, and kind of get familiar with the daily schedule. It's really important that you make a good impression during your first few days when meeting your host teacher and classroom. And um, my student teaching experience took place at an elementary school and my student teaching placement was for fourth grade. So there were 28 students in my fourth grade class, which is actually quite large for an elementary classroom. And during my first few weeks, I wanted to make sure to memorize all 28 students' names. And this was really tricky though, because all the students were wearing face masks and there were several students with the same name. But luckily I was able to get it memorized by the end of the first full week. After the first few weeks, you'll slowly start to take more and more responsibility in the classroom. During your three months of demonstration teaching, you will be required to record and submit six videotape lessons. Your clinical supervisor will watch these lessons and offer you feedback. My advice is to start your recorded observations sooner rather than later, but also try to prioritize finishing your EdTPA because that will take the most amount of time and effort. Eventually, you will assume more and more responsibility within the classroom and you will take over the class for two full weeks. Once I got to those two weeks, I felt quite confident in teaching. My host teacher would pop in here and there to check on me, but for the most part, I was running the ship by myself. This part was a little bit tricky since the kids knew that their teacher was gone, so they did try to push the boundaries a little bit and test me, so to speak, but I just kept reminding them of the classroom expectations. Don't get too discouraged. Think of it as a good way to practice classroom management. I will try to make a separate video on classroom management during student teaching with advice on how to maintain decorum in your classroom during student teaching because I feel like that is a really important and useful thing to talk about that many new teachers don't really get a lot of help with. So overall, my two weeks of full-time teaching were absolutely amazing and equally exhausting. I remember during those two weeks, I actually lost six pounds because of how much walking I was doing. I was literally pacing the room all day. So make sure to wear comfortable shoes. And also don't forget to hydrate as much as possible. No one tells you that when you are teaching, you talk so much that you end up drinking twice as much water as you normally would. Go figure. So overall, I was very happy with my student teaching experience. Three months might seem short, but I felt like it is just enough time to really get as much experience and practice as possible within a short period of time. I also got really lucky with my mentor teacher because she really believed in me and my abilities and pushed me to teach even when I felt like I wasn't ready. She gave me so many opportunities to just jump in and teach a lesson. Towards the end of my student teaching, she surprised me with notes from all, the, all of my students, which was really su sweet. I definitely cried uh, reading all their little handwritten notes. During your last day of student teaching, it's a nice gesture to give small gifts or thank you notes to your students as an act of appreciation. I hand wrote them all little thank you notes and gave them little toys just so that they would know that I really cared and appreciated that they were willing to help me in my teaching journey. 
Anyways, that's pretty much it for my student teaching experience at WGU. Overall, it was an amazing experience and I learned a lot. If I could go back, I would definitely take more notes. But anyways, if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.